Ikareti joba wale tutu. You're watching one of the popular traditional festivals that happens in Yoruba land in southwestern part of Nigeria. Specifically today, our journey takes us to Akure, the capital of Ondo State, which is located in southwest geopolitical zone of Nigeria. The ethnic composition of Ondo State consists largely of Yoruba subgroup of Idare, Akoko, Akure, Ikale, Alaje, Ondo, and Owo people. There is also the Ijo people who are part of the Ondo state, such as the Apo and Arabo population who inhabit the southeastern riverine area of Ondo state, just close to Edo state border. And speaking of riverine area, many people don't know that Ondo state also have a beach called Arorumi in a larger local government area. It is certainly one place you can check out if you get a chance to visit Ondo state. However, one of the most popular tourist sites in Ondo state is the Dari Hill. This place is truly beautiful and I totally recommend that you visit if you get a chance to visit this part of the world. You can also check out our video that we have done about it to see a detailed tour of the Dari Hill. In Nigeria, when you talk about oil producing states, people's mind usually go to River State, Delta, Bayasa, or Akwaibom. But do you also know that Ondo State is an oil producing state in Nigeria and therefore receives 13% derivation fund from the government? Unfortunately, in the state capital, as of the time of my visit in 2022, does not really show or reflect as an oil producing state. Although the same story goes for many of the oil producing states' capitals in Nigeria except for one or two who are doing a bit well by Nigerian standard. Like in every other state, Ondo State also have lots of illustrious sons and daughters. One of the most popular ones is the late founder of the synagogue church, Prophet T.B. Joshua. <laughs> Those states actually have their own security outfit called Omoteku, which actually is stationed in this side of the state in Akure, where I'm standing right now. So, right here, you can see their signboard just behind me. That's where you have their signboard, and also you have their numbers. They can actually just call in case there's any security challenges you know, within where you are staying. In case you don't know, the security architecture in Nigeria is actually managed federally, the federal government manages security outfit. But because of increased insecurity in the country, so many states have to opt in, as many regions within the state have to opt, opt in to establish their own kind of uh, state security outfit. So for the southwest, it is called Omoteko. For the southeast, it's called Ebubago. So for the north, I don't know what it's called, but all of these security outfit also work with the federal security agencies, you know, in carrying and protecting, you know, lives in the states.